Please welcome our first guest, Elizabeth Wassum, and she's the philanthropy manager here at Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center Foundation. Welcome, Elizabeth. I'm so glad to see you again. Thank you, June. It's great to be here. Wonderful. I know that some folks out there are going to recognize you because you have a history here in Brunswick County, and you and I met a long time ago, and now I'm so happy that you're here with us at Novant Health. So um, tell me a little bit about your background and how you got to be where you are today. Okay, gladly. Well, it is great to be here at Novant Health. Um, I've been working in the county for the pa better part of the past six years yeah. and have been in the area a little bit more than that. Uh, I grew up in Virginia originally. Really? and Yeah, came here by way of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is, it is fantastic to live and work here. Grew up going to the beach at Holden mm. Beach with my sure. family. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of a dream. Um, and it's a very familiar community compared to where I grew up. That's awesome. And that's so, I think that's very helpful in your job that you have lived here long enough that you, you understand the, the community, the demographics, and what have you. So you're kind of a local girl. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what intrigued you and drew you to this position at Novant Health? So I really feel called, led, what have you, to connecting people. Yeah. And so the opportunity to do that here when there are so many exciting things happening, happening in healthcare in Brunswick yeah. County was really thrilling. And I was looking forward to professional, personal growth and have really been excited to generate the energy around philanthropy because I believe there's a, a lot that can be done here with the power of philanthropy for Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center Foundation. Um, I totally, totally agree with you. Um, tell me what your first few weeks, because you've only been here um, a short time, but what have your first few weeks been like here? They have been really great, uh, but at times overwhelming, I will say. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> uh, meeting so many team members and getting to know the, what we do here in healthcare um, has been a big part of it. Mm -hmm. So the team members have been so warm, so welcoming, um, helpful mm -hmm. with many questions, and I have a lot of them. And I think as far as healthcare and learning a new industry, what's really amazing is the the range of what takes place here. Yes. You have the happiest days of people's lives, oh, babies yeah. being born, babies. and then you also have really difficult days. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's sort of a combination of all things. We've had weddings here in this very room. We've had um, memorial services. So it, it just crosses the whole gamut of of experiences and, and, and issues. So um, tell me a little bit about your role here in, with the foundation and how you interact with the broader Novant Health Foundation. Yeah, absolutely. So the Novant Health Foundation is a system of six hospital-based foundations, mm -hmm. and Brunswick is one of them. And what's beautiful about that, um, the foundations being embedded in not only the, the sites where they're serving, but also the communities, mm -hmm. is that we really have a chance as the team members and, and me as philanthropy manager here to work side by side with those um, on the clinical side of things that mm -hmm. are that know the needs. And so then we can work together to really align those needs with foundation priorities mm -hmm. um, and the needs are great I mean there's there's so much to be done as far as enhancing services which is a function of the foundation enhancing services accelerating programs and really supporting access to health care for mm -hmm. all of Brunswick County mm -hmm. and <coughs> you touched on um, fundraising initiatives as well as um, growing services and what have you. Um, what are some of the um, main focuses of the foundation right now? So we are highly focused on an emergency room expansion campaign I've heard for behavioral that. health. You have? We need it That's good. really badly. <laughs> yeah, so it is, it's a critical need and the campaign is focused on expanding the emergency room to include six new beds for patients, um, and but it also includes programs and services and resources that can support patients and their families. And so that's 
really big coming up. Um, we also have the Breast Health Fund, and so that helps um, patients who are uninsured have access to mammograms. Right, yeah, that's an important one. Absolutely, and in, I mean, we recognize that this month, but all year round, that that's a need. And we also have the Patient Assistance Fund, and so that's gonna be assisting patients with, with prescriptions and also equipment they need to be safe once they leave here. Mm -hmm. um, getting back, touching on the emergency room expansion, is that a, for a specific type of patient? It is, so it is for our behavioral health patients. Mm -hmm. And so um, we see behavioral health patients coming in our doors. And so to really be able to give them the space that they need, but also the resources to support those services, that's what this campaign's all about. That's really important because the comfort level of that patient is a little different uh, than uh, a trauma patient or a, um, something like that. And so, to have those designated beds and those designated resources for those behavioral health patients is so, it's a wonderful thing for the patients, but also their caregivers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's the nuances of the whole system and how it works right. together. Um, but this campaign is gonna make a big impact yeah. on the, the whole medical center, um, including the team members as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's an important ask, and I, I love to see more information out there about that. So hopefully this TV show will help spread the word a little bit, and because um, I think it's a worthwhile area to donate your funds to. And those are all great projects. I mean, they all are. Um, but today I want to talk about the, the year end, and people start thinking about what they need to send funds to or how can they um, how can they best use their their extra funds so tell me about holidays in your end what do you think <laughs> sure thing um, so certainly the holidays are a time for reflection and, and about what's sure. important to you personally but also where is it important to to give those those dollars that may be available so I would ask that the community and our viewers keep in mind the behavioral health campaign we the the need is is great. Is um, great. It's a national crisis. We've seen that programs and services can be really beneficial. Uh, for example, a couple of years ago, the foundation secured grant funding for telehealth psychiatry right. services in, in the middle schools. schools. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? And so, exactly. I mean, and it's been so successful. We know that that this is the right place to, to be focused on. Um, so, the our goal is to raise two million dollars. So I would say that a gift. Wow, Elizabeth! <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? A big number. Uh, it it is, but I I know it's doable. And a gift of if it's five dollars or oh, five million dollars, uh, will make a great impact. Uh, so I would say top of of my Christmas list is for viewers to consider making a meaningful gift to the Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center Foundation and to this behavioral health campaign. So if anybody has any questions, they can just reach out to you personally, mm -hmm. is that right? Yes, absolutely. Great, or if they call the main number, they can just say, I need the foundation person, right? Yep, and, and hopefully they'll give me a ring. <laughs> well, I hope to have you back next year after the holidays um, to see how we're going and um, see what else we can do to get the word out. That would be so fantastic, June, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Novant Health, and it's been a pleasure to work side by side. Our offices are actually next door to each <laughs> We're other. We're neighbors. That was great. Yeah. So, well, thanks again. Thank you so much.